Well, hello, 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 everybody. Kristen Helmstetter here, back with the Coffee Self Talk podcast. And I have something I want to quickly share with you, a little story. And that's one of the biggest reasons I have this podcast is because life happens, things happen, we learn, we have experiences, and there are lessons and gems and things we can find from experiences. And something happened to me this morning, and I thought, I want to share this because it really could improve your life. So I wake up early in the morning to write my books. My husband tends to stay up late. He's a bit of a night owl. So often he'll be up till two or three in the morning. And I tend to wake up around five or six in the morning. And my daughter sleeps a little bit later too. So when I wake up in the morning, it's dark. I get my laptop and I write. And of course I do my coffee self-talk. This morning I woke up and my husband had sent me a text in the middle of the night that said, My daughter had spilled water on her laptop and it would not be able to be fixed. (laughs) Now, I will give you a quick backstory. My daughter's laptop, well, let's just say she needs a new one. But we were prolonging the purchase as long as possible because it worked still. It was just a bit lousy. So my husband sends me this text and he says that she spilled water, it's broken, and um, (laughs) asked me to go easy on her. (laughs) But here's the thing. Here's the really interesting thing. It had happened. There was nothing I could do about it. The laptop had been broken. And I hadn't been there when it happened. And had I been there, I'm pretty good about these things. You know, I don't usually cry over spilled milk and I don't usually sweat small things. But I probably would have let loose a few expletives (laughs) as I processed the fact that I hadn't intended to buy a new computer yet and that I would have to. And oh, by the way, she spilled water. And sometimes we talk about not having food and water in your technology and stuff like that. So there would have been some frustration, no doubt. I would have been bristling a little bit and I would have processed it and gotten over it because that's what I've done in training my brain to stay calm about things. But when I read this text message and it hit me that it had already happened, there was nothing I could do about it. My heart didn't race at all. In fact, I didn't even bristle. I was just more like slightly annoyed, like, oh, okay, I'm going to have to get online and order a computer. I'm going to have to do this thing. But I didn't freak out. And I just thought it was such an interesting lesson. So then my daughter wakes up a couple hours later. So I got my writing done. And you know what? It didn't interfere with my writing. It didn't impact my morning. I was just fine. And then my daughter got up a couple hours later. And we had a perfectly calm conversation about it. We talked about getting a new one. We talked about rules for going forward. If she's gonna have water or a drink next to her computer, she has it in like a travel cup that has a lid or you know, like a water bottle and that we weren't gonna eat around our laptops anymore. You know, So we set up some rules. And I just, I walked away from the conversation realizing that What a great way to process stressful emotions. If something stressful happens in the future for me, I'm going to take this exact mindset. I'm going to think to myself that I had received a text message told that the thing had already happened. You know, if there were a fender bender or if I dropped my iPhone in the toilet and whatever, or anything stressful happened, if I was working on a project and something didn't work with it, I'm going to imagine that I'm getting the news about this later. And I'm going to be able to step outside of it. And I'm going to recognize that really the most important thing here is that it's already happened. And all I need to do now is go forward. I can create some new rules to help prevent things from happening in the future or whatever. And maybe this doesn't apply and help with every single thing, but I guarantee, I guarantee it's going to help with a lot of stresses that would ordinarily fire you up. So that's my tip today. If something stressful happens, if something happens to freak you out, if somebody says something or whatever that bothers you, imagine you're hearing about it at a later date and take that approach of it's already happened. There's nothing you can do about it because it was really a profound experience for me getting the text message from my husband this morning, letting me know about this. Okay, so I'm signing off. I'm sending all of you really, really big bear hugs this time and big sloppy kisses. 
Okay, now go live your magical life. Ciao, ciao.